after Moses is dead, God assigned Joshua, the son of Nun, as the leader of Israelites. Joshua sent two spies to Jericho town to understand the situation. They crossed the river and reached at Jericho town. A lady named Rahab helped them to hide at her house. Soldiers reached at Rahab's house in search of the spies. She told them two anonymous men had come, but they had gone in the evening. The soldiers believed this and returned back. Rahab told them people had heard about Israelites' journey with the help of God. She suggested them to hide in the hills until soldiers returned to the castle. The spies hid in the hills for three days and after understanding the situation, they returned to Joshua. Then God spoke to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. When the priest who carried the ark of the Lord stood in the river water, the flow stopped and dry land appeared. All the people crossed through the dry land. After priest crossed it, the river started flowing. Joshua made a memorial at Gilgal with twelve stones taken from the river to remember the sons of Israel. They camped at Gilgal. One night, Joshua saw a divine man with sword and he told he came as a captain of the host of the Lord. Jericho fort was tightly shut. God talked to Joshua. He obeyed God. Israeli fighters, seven priests who blew the trumpets before divine spirit, four priests with ark, then Israeli people. Thus, they circled the fort once and camped at night. The king and soldiers of Jericho town had no idea what Israelites were doing outside. This march repeated for six days. On the seventh day, they circled the fort for seven times. The priest blew the trumpets strongly. Israeli people shouted very loudly and the fort fell down flat. Israelites rushed into the town and captured it. But they protected Rahab and family. God then talked to Joshua about I Town. He selected 30,000 soldiers and sent them I Town. Joshua and his Israeli soldiers went to the I town. The I king and soldiers attacked them. The Israelites pretended to be beaten before I army and fled by the way of wilderness. Most of the people in town followed the king to attack Joshua and his fighters. Joshua made a signal by stretching the javelin toward I. The hidden soldiers quickly entered the city and captured it. The people in nearby city called the Gibeon feared about Israelites and they requested Joshua back. He made a covenant with them to protect them. But Amorite kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, Yamut, Lachish and Eglon attacked Gibeon. Joshua fought for Gibeon. God helped them by showering hailstones from heaven and stopped the sun and the moon in the sky for a whole day. Amorites were totally defeated. In the leadership of Joshua, Israelites defeated and captured many countries. God helped them because those countries were filled with sin 
and were against God's law. Joshua appointed the promised land for an inheritance to Israel tribes. The great charismatic warrior lived with them till the age of 110 and was buried at Timnath Herod.